Hi, this is Michael from Lens of Coding Tutorial and in this video I'll show you how to use Photo Editor Lumi that you can get from Play Store. But before we do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest videos. So as you can see, I have my Google Play Store up and running and in the search bar, type in Lumi Photo Lumi. Alright, here it is, the first one. And before we install this up, let's uh, take a look at the uh, pictures in here. So these are the things that you can do with this application. You can apply stylish filters, 100 plus effects, pro SSL color, templates, change background, text stickers, double exposure, and so much more. Alright, let's go back and install it. And while waiting for it to complete, I just want to let you know that Lumi is a power photo editor that provides all the features you want to edit pictures. This photo editor is one of the best big editing apps, offers you 100 plus stylish preset photo filters, add custom exclusive photo filters, effects such as film or lumo, find adjustments for photo filters and effects, you can easily repair or erase unwanted parts with background eraser, totally free and advanced HSL adjustment features editor app, it has undo feature to easily correct photo editing, amazing glitch photo effects to enhance your photos such as VHS, vaporwave, fonts and so much more. Alright it's done, let's go ahead and uh, open it. So it, it will ask you to allow storage access, yes allow it. After you have allowed access it will route you to your photo gallery and these are the photos that I have on my phone so this time I'll uh, choose this one. So this is Nancy and as you can see you have the option to crop the photo like that. The sizes can change depending on your needs like that for Facebook what I want is the free cropping so okay just like that then you can also see filters in here these are the filters so the effects will be applied right away so you just have to click to apply the effects some of the filters in here needs to be downloaded first before you can apply so just uh, wait for a few seconds just like that they also have black and white or all the photos i prefer this one and uh, you can you can try more options if you swipe to the right you will see this Okay, that's ND and Elegant, Brinks, Morandi, and uh, so much more. They even have movie, so it's up to you to decide which uh, filter you want to apply. I just want to apply this uh, filter, this seems uh, beautiful, right? This one, I like this one. You can also use the templates and for the templates you have the option to choose a category so classic business simple deed or simple edge inst instant ambience and so much more let's say that i will want i want to put this on a Let's say, let me just uh, scroll to the right to see more. And uh, I will put this, just select this, and there. Right, that's also good. Alright. So this one, I like this one, so just hit the... Okay, there. So you can choose the filter again. So we already done this, but you can still go back and change it if you want to. So I prefer... 
this one then adjust you also have this option here HSL you can customize this just uh, move this scroll bar and then the curve exposure contrast tone grain and uh, so much more so yes they also have blur effect or you can blur the background and focus on your photo and uh, lighten darken saturation desaturation and so much more so basic is where you can add the brightness level so the default is zero effects is where you can see the additional uh, filters like this one okay you can add that if you scroll to the right you will see more options and some of the options in here needs to be downloaded first like uh, this one butterflies okay I like this one love so love I choose love and uh, for the VG or the background you have the option to blur the background as you can see in this uh, photo the background has been blurred once done just stop the check mark but I'm not going to do that you also have see you also see more options in here you can play with that glitch is where you can apply glitch effect like that so just uh, check the so once you're good with that just hit the check mark but I will not going to add a glitch effect since I like this photo so much the text is where you can add text like I love Nancy okay and I'll put this up here you can change the this is the basic so for the basic you have the option to change the color the fonts so featured these are the featured effects which is really nice let's try this one okay this one I like this one label as well you can put labels let's add it just like that but I prefer this one then hit the check mark and the sticker is where you can add emojis like this so these are the emojis available you can even add time there and uh, so much more for this one I will just grab and I just put it in here in the middle okay and the border you can add frame or just the normal border okay just like that you can also change the sizes for your border as you can see in here and the color so I'm not going to do that and the frame you can also just customize the frame by adding this additional filter like that so I'm not going to add more but uh, just uh, try this one okay that's good this one as well all right so I'm going to add this one the love effect hit the check mark and and for the doodle at the right most if you click that you will see these options in here where you can write something in the photos and to undo the changes you have made just click this undo uh, icon you can add this and do you can add stars just like that all right so I'm not going to add that go back and this is what I want so I'm going to save this now I will go ahead and uh, hit this download button to save this on my phone you also have the option to these are the history or the things that you have done with a photo you can undo the crop the filter the light 
So you will see all of the effects that we have added in here. You can select one to remove or select all to remove. Then hit the check mark. So I'm not going to do that. I love I love this uh, effect. So I'm just going to download this now to save this on my phone. All right, you can skip that part. And uh, you also have the option to share this with your social media, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so on. So let's go back to the home page again. So if you click the home page icon, you will have to choose another photo of yours that you want to edit. But to me, this is already good enough. So that's it for this video. And I hope that you have learned something. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you next time.